I've got lifetimes worth of books and videos to occupy me. So don't worry about me. I still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. But how is it for real? You liking it? Playing it cool, huh? That's so you. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. I gave it my good old college try. <laughs> you see what I did there? Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother has been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions, but it'll be good to get out. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but she got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Not that I mind. Where's the tissue paper? I knew where it was, top shelf of the pantry, but it's not there anymore. How do you expect me to know where anything is if you keep moving them all the time? Flamenco. Flamenco. Or we could do salsa. The activity will do you good. Oh, yes. Anything. Oh, for God's sake. Drop some of that rubbish already. Feel free to grab anything you need. I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to be a grandpa. So don't keep him or me waiting too long. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. Well, now I see that it's true. Mothers have an irresistible urge to interfere in their children's love life. I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers.
It's complicated. Maybe one day I'll get into it. But neither of us mind moving. I think we both have a bit of nomad in us. I think, though, New Atlantis is our forever home. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. Oh, ain't that the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. And of all the places we've lived, New Atlantis is just so full of culture and life. Talking with you has made my day. I'm being serious. Regina, the president of... Oh, I know all about her. Well, she's making me redo the whole report from scratch because she gave me the wrong information. You worked on that for days. I know. I swear next election, I'm stepping down. I, I can't stand her. Are we looking for solutions or sympathy? What? Oh, what's this about? Fred from the poker group said 90% of all marital strife would go away if you just know whether you need to offer help or a friendly ear. Fred's a wise man. I suppose sympathy. Then that Regina is a monster. There ought to be a law. Damn straight. Just so you know, your mother's missed you. Like a lot.